Hey guys, how is everyone doing? I just wanted to come on here and show you my latest updated look on this pink lippy. It's kind of a glossy, shiny look. I've been getting a lot of compliments on it, so I just wanted to share with you guys how I do it and what colors that I use. Okay, so I went ahead and took off my glasses so you don't see the glare, but let's focus on the lip. I'm gonna remove it first with my micellar cleanser. And then we'll start first by priming the lip with chapstick and or lip moisturizer before putting on the lip liner and before putting on any liquid lipstick or lipstick in general. So the look, the look that I'm going for is three different colors. So it's a lot of combo, but it lasts long. It's cute. It's not like anyone's gonna really see it because we have to wear masks for quarantine, but still gonna get ready and feel good sometimes, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and prime our lips with any chapstick. I'm gonna go ahead and use my AOS chapstick. Give it some moisture, hydration, trying to avoid being crusty lipped. So now I'm going to use the lip liner and the lip liner that I use is Kylie Cosmetics and it's in the color True Brown. Gonna start by lining the lip first. What the hell was in my video? <laughs> wow, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side. <laughs> oh god, I'm putting that in. That's fine. Alright, so I don't go all the way because this liquid, no, not liquid, this liner does bleed. Just put a little, you know, be a little mindful. And I go very light handedly. So if it helps, if you're a heavy handed person, don't start in the center or the beginning very much. So start towards the end. It gives you the least amount of pressure. So you're not drawing it on and looking all crazy. So after I do that, I'll smudge my lips together. And then I'll go ahead and use my finger to blend it. Don't worry about it being perfect because you're gonna go ahead and fix everything at the end. So after that, I go ahead and use my liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in the color True Hollywood. It's my favorite. The reason why I use such light of a color is because my lips naturally have a strong like pigment and hue so I don't want it to be too pinkish I want it to be more like nude and if anything such a lighter brown so I go ahead and wipe off any excess <laughs> stop and then I'll put it in the center and on the top someone's farting in the background Think. Then I'll go ahead and um, blend it, making it hard to think, man. I try to smudge my lips together until I feel that it's catching the outer lip liner that we had just put from Kylie Cosmetics. Every time I do the smudging of the lips, I easily take a step back to see how it looks, you know, from a further end. Okay, that looks about good and right. Um, now I'm going to use the third step, which is the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is a cute little pinkish color, pretty girly. It hydrates and it also moisturizes in a shiny, glossy way. If you don't like gloss, then just use any other um, chapstick. You don't have to use gloss. So this is in the color Eclair. And I like to put on a lot because it doesn't make it too sticky, but it makes me feel that my lips are hydrated and plump. So I go ahead and try to go at the corners and edges, then smudge again with the lips. If you're too afraid to do that, do it with your finger. And then 
So take a step back, see how it looks. I feel that I could add more blush or highlight, whatever you want to do, but this is the lip. It doesn't take too much steps, so you know, if you want to try it, let me know what you think. And then if you do try it, tag me. I want to see it. I'll post it on my story. I want to make sure that if I can help out or inspire, I just want to see it. And you know, let's express ourselves during this whole quarantine, COVID-19 history and time. So let's stay creative and keep sharing and stay positive.